Here is the refreshed 2024 Volkswagen Atlas Highline. In this video, I'll be going over what trims are available with the Volkswagen Atlas, what safety features you get with this Highline trim, the exterior, the interior, the infotainment system, and the pricing. If you guys are new here, my name is Jason and I do reviews on vehicles here in Canada, so be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Also, thank you to Bramgate Volkswagen for letting me review this Atlas. Be sure to reach out to them and ask for David. Starting with the different trims that you can get when it comes to the Volkswagen Atlas, there are four trims to pick from. This will be the Comfort Line, Peak Edition, which is coming later, the High Line, which you're looking at, and the Exec Line. Each of these trims will have their own unique features and options, as well as exterior looks and interior looks. Now, as for the safety features you will get with the High Line trim, this includes the Park Distance Control, which are the front and rear sensors, Front Assist, which is the autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist monitoring, Lane Change System Side Assist, Rear Traffic Alert and Exit Warning, Travel Assist, which is the Adaptive Cruise Control, Lane Assist and Emergency Assist, and the Dynamic Roadside Display. Taking a look at what powers this Highline, it has the 2.0-liter turbocharged engine. This is going to give you 269 horsepower and 273 pound-foot of torque. And with the towing package, you can tow about 5,000 pounds. Fuel economy-wise, you get about 12.6 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 9.4 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. The front of the Atlas looks way better now with the new changes that they did. The bottom area is similar to the previous one kinda. Here you've got this aluminum trim piece there in the middle with the lower open grille area that has this wrench designing, which is kinda cool, along with the front safety sensors. On the corners, you have these sections with the black and aluminum. I do wish that these had the fog lights in this area. Then is the improved and slightly bigger grill area with the black and chrome which definitely looks nice. You've also got the VW logo with the sensor right below it and with the refresh the VW logo and the light bar that you see above do light up. Now the comfort line trim does not get this but the rest of the trims do. Then are the newly designed LED headlights with the adaptive front light system and they made these pretty sleek looking. Coming to the side of the Atlas you notice the styling and the sharp lines. Up top, this trim does come with the panoramic sunroof along with the silver roof rails. Around the windows is more chrome trim and there's even the Volkswagen lettering on here. And you do get the body color door handles. Even the side mirrors are body color and half black with the turn signal. The bottom areas of the Atlas have this black molding and also this chrome trim on the sides. As for the wheels, you do get these nice 20 inch Atlanta machined alloy wheels in black and chrome. Coming to the back of the Atlas, you'll notice more of the new changes. Back here, the bottom half of the bumper has more of the black molding and the chrome exhaust outlets, which are just for show. In the middle there, you've got the hitch and towing outlets, also the rear safety sensors and the reflectors. Right below the taillights is this chrome piece that has the Atlas lettering and the VW badge along with the 4 motion badge. The rear taillights, as you can see, look way better and make the rear stand out. Like the front, these are also LED with the illuminated strip and even the VW badge back here lights up. Up top is this built-in spoiler with the brake light and opening up the tailgate which is power opening. Since this is a three row SUV you still have some decent room back here and of course if you aren't using the third row folding that down does open up much more cargo space. Back here you'll find the storage pockets on the corners and a 12 volt outlet. Also lifting up the carpet area you'll have the privacy cover here and the roadside stuff and a spare tire. Plus you can even use this as a a small area for storage if you like. Entering into the rear of the Atlas, you've got a pretty unique door trim area. At the bottom will be some space and a smaller section next to that. Also is the speaker at the bottom. On the armrest section, you do have this leatherette trim and the contrast stitching. And if you look above that, in the middle area, you kind of have this perforated trim going on. Also up top is this nice smooth wood trim with another small speaker right next to the door handle. Also back here will be the window shades on both of the sides. Now starting off in the third row and to get back here, it's pretty easy. You just pull on this latch and the seat comes forward. Back here, you do have some good room and even the seats are pretty big. So even an adult can be comfy back here. Also in the third row, you do have some open storage spaces and cup holders and USB ports on the left side. Now coming to the second row and like the third row, these seats are nice and comfy as well. And you've got the nice perforated sections along with this nice layout in the middle. The second row seats can also also be reclined a bit adding to that comfort and you can also move them forward and backwards to adjust for legroom. 
Pulling down the center area, it'll have the cup holders. Behind the driver and passenger seats will be matte pockets for that additional small storage. On the rear console will just be the venting, rear climate controls, USB ports, and a 115 volt outlet. Coming to the front of the Atlas, it's like the rear, but the spaces at the bottom are a bit different. There's also the tailgate button here, and then you've got the usual window and side mirror controls, and the Highline trim also comes equipped with the Harman Kardon sound system. As for the front seats, these are just like the rear, and not only do they come heated but ventilated as well which is nice and as you can see like the third row and the second row the seats up here are also very very comfortable and the front seats also come power adjustable and on the side is where you'll find the driver memory seat buttons underneath are just the pedals and the hood latch release above are the lighting controls and the front and rear defrosters even here on the dash you have more of that perforated trim with the stitching and this also has the interior ambient lighting even the wood trim and the gloss black trim and this is something small but these are pretty unique looking vents compared to what you usually see and the steering wheel is manual adjustable entering inside the highline the dashboard has the soft material on it then you've got this super nice looking 10.25 inch digital cluster area which is way better than before so on here you have all sorts of information and you can view different things in the center area even in the rpm section and the speed section plus you can change the view of all of this as well so there's lots of ways to customize this to your liking the steering wheel is wrapped again in leatherette and is heated. There's also more aluminum and gloss trim on here as well. And on the left side will be the adaptive cruise control and volume buttons. The other side has the Bluetooth, cluster, heated steering wheel, and radio buttons. Behind are also the paddle shifters, along with the indicator, high beam, and lane assist. The other side has the front and rear wiper controls. The center armrest has more leatherette and the contrast stitching. Opening this up, there's a good amount of room in here and a USB port. On the center console will be the open storage section, cup holders, electronic parking brake. You've also got the super tiny but sleek shifter and the start stop button. Up here, there's also more space once you do open this up and a wireless charging area along with USB ports as well. You've also got more storage space underneath the center console, which definitely helps. So there's a ton of room in the Atlas. Now up top in between the venting, there are a few things. So you have the assist, which opens up the safety section, then is the camera section section that pulls up the rear camera along with the front and rear sensors. Then you've got the climate section of course. Then is the different modes you have in this so there's a few to pick from. And you can also see more of that nice ambient lighting. And right under the screen are the temperature and volume controls. Then you've got this all new 12 inch touchscreen which is positioned way better and it also looks better now compared to before. So on here you can also press these two icons to open up the climate section. There's also the home page with all of the different sections. On the next two pages is the same stuff but it's just rearranged differently so here you have the phone section once you have it paired under radio and media will be the typical am fm and other media things then is the navigation for your map of course under vehicle you can go into each of the sections to adjust it to your liking and also see the vehicle data then is just the app connect sound and help under settings you can adjust more of the settings for the vehicle there's also the assist systems to adjust the safety settings to your liking then is just the legal notes and and the setup car net. Also with the touchscreen, you can do hand gestures to swipe through each of the sections, which is pretty cool. Up top is the mirror, SOS, interior lights, roadside assistance, sunroof and sunshade controls. And like I was mentioning, this has the full panel roof. Here is a key fob and what it looks like for the Atlas. Now coming around to the passenger side, the nice wood trim, gloss black trim, ambient lighting and the perforated area continues over. Then you've just got the usual glove compartment space. There was no window sticker for this Volkswagen Atlas Highline, but this trim does start from about $59,600 Canadian. Now, this may be minus any dealer discounts or manufacturer rebates if they're being offered. Well, that does it for the review on this refreshed 2024 Volkswagen Atlas Highline. Let me know what you think of this. Do you love it or do you hate it?